Hello and welcome to six advanced tips for using your Microsoft Surface Book. Uh, we're going to dive deep and get into some real technical things on this device from undervolting to compressing OS files. If you're not comfortable with this, you may want to start with this video. This is the six simple tips and tricks for using your Microsoft Surface Book. But if you are ready to dive in, let's go ahead and get started. Tip one, how to compact your OS. If you're really hurting for disk space, this may be for you. Uh, it's not necessarily for everyone. This compact OS feature lets you compress all of your system files, but at the expense of a little bit of CPU time to decompress it as it uses those system files. Um, the processor in the Surface Book is plenty fast, so you shouldn't really have any problems with it being able to keep up. But here's how to do it. So let's look at my use space here on this drive. We show 85.5 gigabytes. First thing I'm gonna do is click the Windows button and I'm going to type CMD and open up a command prompt. If I right click on that command prompt, I can run it as an administrator. It's gonna ask for some special permissions. And I'm going to go ahead and type in the following command, compact dot exe slash compact os colon always okay so i'm gonna go ahead and enable that and we'll see how much disk space we save okay once that finishes you can see that it compressed a bunch of files and it did it with a compression ratio of 1.7 to 1 our free disk space now it shows up as 82.6 gigabytes which means we saved roughly about 3 gigabytes of space and the only thing we're really giving up is a little bit of CPU time or when the system files are accessed so uh, that can, for those of you who are really cramped for disk space that may help you quite a bit. Okay let's talk performance and undervolting. Now if you have not seen any of my undervolting videos, uh, check those out on my channel. But basically what undervolting is, is all CPUs that exist have a certain threshold uh, that the voltage has to be at for them to function without giving errors. Now most of the time the Intel or other CPU manufacturer is, is usually quite lenient in the voltage that they're giving the chip. They, they want to avoid any errors as, po as much as possible. So the actual voltage that a CPU chip might need may be quite a bit less than what it's actually being given depending on the quality of the chip. So for the most part, people, manufacturers don't want to deal with tuning those a lot because you know there's just diminishing returns. So if you're able to undervolt your CPU, you get the benefits of less heat produced, uh, higher clock speeds potentially because it's not being throttled. So one way to do that on your uh, surface book here is to use a program called throttle stop and you can also use another program called Intel XTU uh, it's, the problem with Intel XTU is the settings are really hard to save between reboots and things like that so I found throttle stop to work pretty well so let's go into throttle stop and I will show you how to tweak this a little bit there's a few different things you can do for one, you could just go ahead and set a multiplier and say, hey, I want you to operate at this particular multiplier rather than jumping around or going into a turbo boost. So you can do that if you want, but the one you're looking for is the FIDR. We're going to enter into here, and there's lots of things that you can undervolt. The main things you'll want to look for is the CPU core, CPU cache, and Intel GPU. Uh, so once you're, we're selecting this CPU core, we can unlock the adjustable voltage. And the way I like to do it is this adaptive way. That means whatever the CPU voltage should be, should be for whatever clock speed it's at, it's automatically gonna step down a certain amount. So let's go ahead and set the offset voltage. And I'm gonna bump that down to a good starting point for you might be negative 30. I know mine can do negative 50 and potentially beyond, but I'm trying to keep it a little bit safe. So I'll go negative 50 on the CPU core. I will go 
negative 50 on the CPU cache. And on the Intel GPU, I will also go at negative 50. Now these settings are pretty reasonable. I don't want to run into any um, stability issues. So these I found have been are pretty, I won't say minimal, but they're adequate for getting a nice boost in performance because they're not overheating quite as much. Well, I shouldn't say overheating because they don't overheat in the service book. If you've seen my uh, throttling videos, uh, you know that. But I don't want the power control limiting to, to lessen my CPU clocks. And if I underbolt, it uses less power and therefore lets it clock higher using less power. So you can go ahead and apply those and they've taken effect. <clears throat> and now you're on your way to having a uh, more power conservative system. Okay, for those of you who might want to boot from a thumb drive for whatever reason, uh, I will show you how to do that. So it's really simple with the way they have it set up these days. Basically, you put your thumb drive into the Surface Book, and if you want to boot from that thumb drive, uh, you don't have any hotkeys that you necessarily have to press, but you hold down Windows and hit I, and that will bring you to the System Panel, and where you want to go is Update and Security, and then you want to go to the Recovery section, and then you want to get into Advanced Startup. Select restart now and what you're looking for is this right here use a device and you can choose USB storage and the next thing you know you are booting from your thumb drive and there you go So another thing you may be interested in doing on your device is uh, disabling encryption. The reason you might want to do that is that you can get a boost in performance from your drive and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So if you go into the settings panel by hitting Windows I at the same time you can type in BitLocker, and then there's this option here that says Change Device Encryption Settings. And if you scroll down to the bottom here, it says Device Encryption is On, and you can go ahead and choose Turn Off. Now this may take a while, depending on how fast your device is. The Surface Book has a pretty fast SSD and actually a pretty quick processor, so this might be fairly quick. Okay, once that finishes, you will see device encryption is off. And let's go ahead and see what kind of difference this makes. I'm going to open up Crystal Bismarck. And we are going to run a test. Okay, our benchmark just finished, and you can see the Surface Book has some really nice read and write speeds here. Um, but how did that compare to when device encryption was turned off? Let's take a look. So on the left here is encryption on, and here's encryption off, and you can see there's a dramatic improvement in performance, especially writes, uh, when you disable the encryption. So there you go. Okay, let's say you have had it with your Surface Book and you want to just reset the device completely. So what you're going to do is go into the settings window, you'll go into update and security, and you will go to the recovery section, and once again, uh, you can go in here and choose reset the PC. Now if you click on that, you will go into a window where it will allow you to completely uh, delete all the files if you want and start fresh. 
Now, if you are going to uh, be keeping the PC, you may want to not remove all your files. You may just want to reset the PC. Uh, if you're getting rid of it, it you can run the process that will actually uh, write a bunch of zeros across the drive and it will actually clear all your files and make it safe to either return this device or sell it to someone else without them getting your personal data. Okay, the last advanced tip, we're also going to be using some of the uh, recovery menus to do this, but we're going to show you how to disable some of the cameras and devices that you might not be using on the surface and also how to access the BIOS. So, Windows Eye is your friend. Once again, go into Update and Security, Recovery tab, we're going to go into the Advanced Startup. And this time we're going to choose Troubleshoot and we're going to choose Advanced Options. And then you want to choose UEFI Firmware Settings. This will let you into uh, what most people would call the BIOS in order to change uh, some of the more hardware level settings of the device. Here we go, so we're going to go in, you can actually disable secure boot, you can do that if you want to boot off a Linux thumb drive like we showed you how to boot into Linux. Uh, you can also go into devices and you can turn any of these off or on, the docking USB port, the front camera, the rear camera, the IR camera, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, Bluetooth, and you may be able to save some power. You may be able to just say, you know what, I'm not going to use this particular device and I don't want it on, and I will turn it completely off. Thanks for watching 6 Advanced Tips for Using Your Microsoft Surface Book. Uh, if you want to see more cool Surface Book videos on my channel, go ahead and click here. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead and click there. You know you want to.